Dwayne Lesner with another Cloud Quake video. Today we are looking at Nutanix clusters. We have a hibernate option available. In Nutanix clusters, you can hibernate your cluster in AWS, sending all of the data to S3. So you can shut it down, save on the cost. When you need to use it again, you can bring everything back instead of like re-migrating data. Maybe you just want it for a DR use case, whatever it is, so you can shut it down. So it's really simple in the menu. You can just hit this hibernate option for our cluster. If we take a look at the existing cluster, so we have this test drive cluster, which we are going to hibernate, but not only can you do it from the menu, you can automate it with Prism Central and using Crossplay. So here's our Prism Central in Phoenix. We have a HV cluster, our test drive cluster, and uh, this vSphere cluster. So let's go into playbooks just so you can get a look and feel of some of the other options. Uh, we have a manual one, so we can run it from here manually. But if you wanted to take action, so if we were to create a new playbook and you wanted to maybe do it based off of alert, um, so we could go CPU, and then let's say our CPU is getting um, low runway, so we can track usage. So if your cluster is getting out of low uh, CPU, you could also, you could add a node. So a lot of different things you can automate. So let's go into our clusters tab, go to test drive. We're going to run our playbook for Hibernate. Run playbook, run. <clears throat> uh, so it's successfully running. If we flop back into the menu here, uh, we see that it's making the call and now we see that it's hibernating so as easy as that and then when we want to go back you'll have a resume option and you are good to go thanks for watching